Okay, once you download the PDF file with a box cut plan from 123D Make, cut out the, uh, well, you'll get six sheets of 8.5 uh, by 11. What you want to do is uh, paste those down, use the rubber cement or spray mount on some cardboard. You want to make sure your cardboard is um, uh, a, a thinner variety. Here I've cut out uh, the shapes with the exacto uh, knife and a matte knife. However, uh, my cardboard is too thick, so I have to make these slots extra wide. The tip is to cut, cut beyond the lines. Be very careful uh, and try to pick a thinner cardboard. The thick cardboard is really problematic, so get a thinner cardboard and be careful when you're cutting the slots. I had to cut mine larger. Now I'm going to follow the cut diagram plan on how to assemble it, the assembly plan from 123D make. Basically everything has lettering on it so it's no big deal assembling. You just in, um, slide them into the slots. But like I said, if you are too large, you will have certain problems. I had the wrong one there. I should read the directions. The y-axis 1 goes in the slot that says 1 on the z-axis 1. So, you know, just follow the plan and follow the lettering on your on your boards. So in any case, um, the uh, most difficult thing is cutting the slots. Uh, cut beyond the edges and cut through the edges. And then use your X-Acto knife to kind of go in there and uh, s slowly and carefully cut the corners out because the corners are difficult. So uh, this is the pure cardboard one looking at it from the cardboard side which looks good. I like the lettering and stuff on it. So Now this would be with paper. You can always strip the paper off before you assemble it and mark it some other way so you know where what goes what. You can see this is a double thick cardboard which was really bad. So give it your best shot and then poster picks.